Welcome to Dangerous Prototypes. I'm Ian. We've used Flux a lot on the workshop videos. It's this great goo that helps solder flow better. It comes in syringes like this, liquid forms like this, and paste and tubs, a couple other ways too. Today though, we're going to make our own Flux using rosin, which is a refined tree sap. We're going to dissolve it in some alcohol and then try it out. Yesterday we tweeted pictures of making some examples to use in the video today. These each have a different concentration of rosin. This first one is only 40% rosin by weight. It's pretty thin. I mean, flux doesn't have to be thick. The goo that we like a lot is a brush on flux that's actually very thin. This one is 65% rosin by weight. This is starting to get a bit thicker. This one's a lot thicker. It's 80% rosin by weight. Here's the three ingredients you need for homemade flux. Rosin. This is available in art shops, online, even some electronic stores will stock it for using with soldering. You can use a lot of different solvents, but this one's relatively safe to work with and inexpensive to get. Uh, we bought this bottle at the drugstore around the corner. An optional ingredient is glycerin. This can help stabilize the flux and keep it from scorching as much under high heat. But this is totally optional. You don't need this if you can't find it. We got this at the drugstore in the same place we found the alcohol. I am wearing gloves for this because the powder gets everywhere and if you splash a little alcohol on your hand and then it turns into flux and gets really sticky and your fingers stick together. Now we're going to make a batch of homemade flux. The idea to do this came out of the forum so we have other people's experience to fall back on but also there's a couple expired patents out there about flux that say the concentration of rosin powder can be anywhere from 20% to 85%. This is the rosin powder we'll use. It comes from big blocks like this that were sent in by a helpful reader. We crush them with a hammer, and then to get them nice and powdered so they dissolve quickly, we put the smaller chunks in an envelope and folded it in half, and then crushed it with a hammer. That works surprisingly well. We're going to mix up the flux in this container so you can see it, but I think using a bottle might be a better idea. We're going to mix everything by weight because we have a scale handy, but I think you could probably eyeball it too. We're going to try to make a really thick flux this time, so we're going to use 80% rosin by weight. For this batch, that'll be 6 grams of isopropyl alcohol, and 24 grams of powder. Now we're going to dissolve the rosin powder into the alcohol. It's actually quite a big pile of rosin. We tried using small chunks versus a powder. While the powder does dissolve faster, it still clumps up like this and it takes a while for these clumps to dissolve. Now if this were in a bottle, maybe you'd be able to shake it and dissolve it a bit faster. This looks like about as much as we're going to get for now. After 24 hours or so, this will dissolve better and this should be a nice solder paste. The patent we read mentions using glycerin to stabilize the flux and also to keep it from burning. This isn't strictly necessary to make it work, but we have some glycerin handy, so we're going to add some. It's just supposed to be 1% by weight, so that's literally just a, a drop or two in here. That's our finished flux. We'll have to leave it overnight for it to fully dissolve and stir it up a bit more. For now, we'll work with one of the ones we started yesterday, the thick one. So the question is, will it work? Well, we've got the 80% here that we made up yesterday. It's got a, just a hint of glycerin in it. We've got a circuit board and a 28-pin SOIC chip. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit with one end of a toothpick and then flip it over and spread it with the other. The corner pins went on okay. Minimal smoke, hardly any smoke at all, and the iron's a little hotter than it should be. Wow, that actually worked great as a flux. It didn't smoke, it didn't smell bad, and it didn't burn at all. Well, there you have it. Homemade flux made out of alcohol, and rosin. A huge thanks to the anonymous reader who sent us a kilo of rosin. We're going to break this up into 100 gram bags and give it away to some of the commenters below. A huge thanks to Arhi and everybody in the forum for all the info about homemade flux and thank you for watching. We'll be back next week with something new.